we're looking at some recent upgrades that we've done to the SI4732 Chinese made shortwave listening radio FM AM medium and shortwave and sideband lower and upper sideband also uses FM RDS to display the uh, uh, radio data service or digital service or whatever that stands for so these updates we've done it several things we've increased the boot time or decreased the boot up time on the radio and you can see immediately that we have changed the size of let me turn it down the size of the frequency display so that's a nice addition the uh, frequency display right there and we've added a meter indicator, 80 meter, whatever the band might be. Um, volume has moved up to this spot right here. We corrected the megahertz, which was listed as kilohertz before, which was incorrect. And so we corrected the, the reading there. It's now reading correctly megahertz or kilohertz, depending on the, the band that you're on. In sideband, which currently we're in lower sideband, the sideband mode, the... Um, Attenuator does not work and the AGC is very flaky. It's not a problem with the programming of the radio. It's actually the chip and there's a uh, uh, a patch that does not work on this radio yet. So I think they're working on it, but somebody will get it going eventually. So uh, we have enabled the AGC and it does work a little bit. It's not great on sideband but it does work a little bit. Um, let's see, sometimes you can see the S meter move up and down on AGC off. In any case, the attenuator does not work yet because the uh, uh, patch has not been repaired, but so we just reprogrammed the radio to reflect what does work. We've increased the steps to 1, 5, 10, and 100. 1, 5, 10, and 100 so that you can jump on your frequencies by 100 now. I think that's available on another release somewhere. We created a, a BFO menu kind of thing here where it moves the, the base frequency down here and puts the BFO offset up here for you. So you can see that a little better. So you can set your BFO offset and then jump back by tapping on the, the frequency control knob. We added a nice feature here of, mu of mute. You push the volume up and down simultaneously and it mutes the radio. You can see the zero there on the speaker. And then to simply unmute, unmute you just bump the volume up speaker, uh, volume up button. And uh, so that's, uh, we're currently on 80 meters lower sideband. So let's jump out uh, and let's move to uh, AM and uh, let's see if there's anything. Oh, in the AM band, you notice that uh, AGC is working and your bandwidth is much broader in AM. So then we also can turn off AGC and uh, change the attenuator. We also repaired an attenuator bug that some of the original firmware did not work. The original sketch was not written correctly. So we added an uh, we, we just added back in the minus 36 attenuation. So that takes the signal quite, uh, quite a ways down. But that was in the original software. It just wasn't written correctly to display. So that's working now. Let's see. Um, oh, we, incre we increased. Let me mute this. We improved the efficiency of the encoder. So now the encoder moves nice and smoothly. There was a bug in the encoder software that if you moved at a certain speed, it would it would back up instead of go forward. That was a problem. So we corrected the efficiency of the encoder software uh, uh, code, that is, and it works nice and smoothly now. And that was a nice correction for this particular model was really uh, problematic. One thing that this particular radio needs is a new encoder. If you'll notice here, the encoder wheel wobbles, see that? And it's real loose. I don't know if your other models are that way, 
But what I did, and the only way that mine would work was if I would push the encoder wheel to one side or the other. If I tried to keep the encoder wheel perfectly centered, it wouldn't even it wouldn't even uh, uh, pulse the encoder. So what we did was I put a piece of felt and put it inside the case here and wrapped it around to the back of the knob. You can hardly even see it, but it really fixed the problem um, until I can find a new encoder for this radio. And it actually tilts the wheel just a little bit to the side and it actually works now. So that was a weird, uh, just a weird fix. I don't like, usually like to fix things that way, but it was just what we needed to do. Let's see, FM, let me go to FM and um, get to FM. Here we go, I just missed it. Uh, I don't have an FM antenna. Uh, let me see, yes I do, right here. Let me put this antenna whip on here, uh, this uh, FM whip on here. And let's, uh, we're still on mute. And the uh, RDS works beautifully now. Before it was really jumpy and didn't work half the time. And it's still not horribly Im impressive. I mean, I've seen better. Um, not sure. There goes the stereo. I was waiting for the stereo to come up. But you can see the RDS is playing now. Nice feature. So, the FM works great. Um, it does have scan functionality. I guess you're familiar with that. You push the button here, and it'll scan to the next channel. And when it gets to the top of the band, you have to bump it a couple more times to get it to cycle past. Immigrants instead of to Americans. Because it's an early payoff, so they'll vote for him forever. Border agent, prepare to worship God. We must make every effort... I don't know. I just like to play with the, uh, the scan. Um, I've just muted the, the audio. So, there we are. That's the latest version. And let me let you see the version again. And I'll make this INO available to you if you want it. 2.309. And I even added my call sign there. If you see it right after the, the writer of the software... And you see how quickly it boots up now, which is a nice feature. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I hope this video was of some use to you.